today I'm gonna go climb up that so you're gonna see me struggle today because a couple of days ago I was with Ben from Daily Outdoors and we climbed a mountain to go find two plane crash sites and we wild camped up there as well so if you want to see that video check out the video below I'm not looking forward to climbing up over 400 steps but let's see if we can make it to the top eh I'm getting cramp in my legs just looking at it <laughs> come on let's get up there so here we go up the Tower of Spite there's all these respite areas on the way up so people can pass through have a sit down if you wish but we're just gonna power on through try and get to the top wow pretty high up already some lovely views come on stop stalling Gaz I'm getting dizzy going round and round in circles. Woo. <sighs> oh, Ria. Thank God for that. All right. We made it just <sighs> Woo. Oh that's lovely isn't it? Wayne Tower is an old Victorian folly located in King Cross, Halifax, West Yorkshire. It was built between 1871 and 1875 by John Edward Wayne a local mill owner. It stands at the height of 275 feet and has 403 steps leading to the top viewing platform. The tower was intended to be a chimney for a dye works mill but it was never used for that purpose. There was an ongoing feud between Wayne and another local mill owner, Sir Henry Edwards, who had long complained of smoke nuisance coming from the dye works. It had long been the boast of Sir Henry that, when on the lawn of his Pines mansion, no one could see into his private grounds. Wayne decided to alter this, and he ensured that the tower would be constructed in such a way that members of the public could have a good view of the whole district, including Sir Henry's Pines estate. The feud between the two gentlemen became legendary and as a result the building has been called the tallest folly in the world or the Tower of Spite. Now I just want to take a brief detour to Wayne Terrace that's located approximately 350 yards northwest of the tower and then we'll finish this story with our awesome footage from the beginning of the video. Overlooking the tower and the Calder Valley the terrace was also built by Wayne House in 1876, an elaborate terrace with its own ornamental colonnade and machicolated towers discreetly hiding staircases that connect the two levels, formerly home to a number of back-to-back -back houses before their demolition in 1978, which although landscaped and paved into a viewing platform, including a couple of viewing telescopes more commonly found at the seaside, subsequently left the site open to vandalism and decay. <laughs> <laughs> 